the best turnout we've had on a class. Uh, that's amazing. We need to have these once a month. And, and the next one we're going to do is essential oils. Ooh, yeah. Yes, because people have been asking me about essential oils. I've been, I've been using essential oils for over 13 years. So tonight we are going to talk about smoothies. And the reason we're talking about smoothies is, do y'all know Dr. Ben Johnson? Have you ever heard of his name? He's an oncologist. And he, I had a, um, I spoke at the church here at Indian Trail, and I had him come and speak about breast cancer awareness, which is going to be really big in October, and how we do thermography. And so I had him come and speak, and he's like, I was like, I'll get you a hotel to stay at. And he's like, no, I'm going to stay at your house. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, Dr. Ben Johns, if you don't know him, like, he's amazing. He's written, like, four or five different books. He's done The Truth About Cancer. Like, he's a big, famous doctor. So I was like, oh, I'm going to stay at my house. Okay, so, and sleep in my, in my girl's bed. All right, we can figure this out. So anyway, he comes to my house. And it was just awesome experience. And this is how the whole smoothie experience started about five years ago. So he comes over, and in the morning, he's <coughs> opening my refrigerator and looking at my refrigerator to make smoothies. And he's, like, grabbing every fruit and vegetable he can find and just grabbing it out of the refrigerator. And I did not have a blend test, okay? I just had a regular blender. Believe me, a regular blender does work because he was the one. I don't even know what was in the blender. So here he is throwing everything in the blender and um, I was like are you gonna drink that like he was like carrots and beets and um, spinach and kale and then he's like looking in the freezer grabbing some pineapple and I had some he's like you got some chia seeds you got some honey and he's like throwing it all in there and I was like okay that sounds great so he blended it all up and that's how he starts his morning now an oncologist that lives healthy and natural, I'm going to listen to every word that he says and what he tells his patients. And so he says, you know, he starts his day with a green smoothie. So that's what we're going to do is a green smoothie. Where's our clicker, Marie? Oh, yeah, so here we are. So this was back in the day, okay? And so what, and this is the blender I had, and this is like everything he was grabbing to throw in the blender, and I was like trying to take snapshots. Um, and so this is my this is my middle child core. We love some smoothies. He has kids. Make some smoothies. That's the way you can sneak in spinach and kale and all that stuff. And they don't know. They don't know. So yeah, that's the one way to get it get it in there. So for my birthday present, I realized this blender doesn't do such a great job with blending some some fruits and vegetables. So for my birthday present, I wanted a blend tech. Now there's some great blenders out there. There's the Nutri the Vitamix, there's the Blendtec, and then there's the Nutra Bullet that I've heard is really good, Ninja. So you don't have to necessarily get that one. I was just kind of set on that one. Um, and so it's been used, and it, it's been used multiple times. In fact, every day I use my blender. It's like the thing that sits out. And I thought about Father the Bride. Have you seen that movie, Father the Bride? And she gets a blender, and she's like bawling and crying. And I get a blender, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> so exciting. So why? Why should we do smoothies? Again, it's a very healthy way to get tons of antioxidants for our body. And obviously you guys are so excited to figure out what we get in our smoothies. Yay! Um, so the green smoothies, they are going to rock the best. That's the first one that we're going to do. Um, and of course, they're super low in calories. There was a couple... Uh, patients that emailed me back when you signed up we asked you some questions and some of you guys responded it was really cool I'm like oh you're really reading these so they come back and when they come back they're telling me hey I'm a diabetic you know can I do smoothies and that is a really good question if I'm a diabetic can I do smoothies yes yes you can because they're the ones that we're going to share with you are very very low in sugar so there's certain fruits that you want to stay away from when you're out for diabetic because they're high in sugar, but we'll teach you what those ones are. Um, and then you get tons of enzymes. You know, enzymes is the key as well as being fresh. You know, fruits and anything that's fruits and vegetables, that's where you're getting enzymes. You know, one of the things that my uncle, um, you know, when he started coming in with his herb company, one of the first things that he invented was a digestive enzyme and fiber. That was pretty much, he probably could make just as much money just on digestive enzymes and fiber. 
And what I have found out is totally true. Being in practice for 13 years, people are not getting enough digestive enzymes to break down their food, and they're not getting enough fiber to get the food out. <laughs> so those are the two things right there, and that's what you can get in your smoothie. You can get both of those digestive enzymes and enough fiber for your body, which is great. So what can you put in? Oh, man. Just like Dr. <laughs> if I had anything green in my refrigerator, he was dumping it in. I mean, you got baby spinach, we got kale, collard greens, mustard greens, dandelion greens, turnip, beet greens. People are like, oh, you eat the beet greens? Oh, yeah, beet greens are great. And I love beets. Someone's shaking their head. Yeah, they like oh, yeah. beet greens. Um, parsley, romaine, lettuce. Yeah, you can throw that in there, too. So the benefits, why, do, why are you guys interested? Why are you guys interested in doing smoothies? Just a raise of hands. Why did, what made you come to the class tonight? What's your why, what you want to do? Kathy, I see you first. Bored with the smoothie that I make all the time. You're bored. Yeah, that's yes, the number that's one thing. Different. Exactly. So people that are already here love smoothies, but they get bored. Well, tonight we're actually, and hopefully we'll get to that last one. <laughs> the door. Um, we have a pumpkin pie smoothie one that we're going to do, which is so good. I might even have to do that first. I did say you say that to last. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you got to change it up because it's not good to eat the same thing every every day because you're in fact there's something called oral tolerance have y'all heard that term oral tolerance what that means is your body gets used to the same thing and then you can actually become allergic to it and then your body can start you know, having what we call autoimmune a lot of problems come from the gut which we know that right the gut is the main key ingredient got to heal the gut and so many people have issues with the gut and the leaky gut syndrome and food getting through and then breaking through and causing autoimmune and all disturbance. And you know, I've been in practice for 13 years and what I have noticed and what I've found is yes, there's more diseases happening. Yes, more people are getting sick. And what's the real difference where we was 50 years ago? Well, we are changing and our food is changing. So how, what can we do to keep ourselves healthy is to get the healthiest food and nutrients that we need. Now, there is tons of fruits and vegetables that are, don't have the minerals because of the, the ground has been depleted, you know? Um, so we need to add a little bit more minerals to it, which we're going to add some minerals, and we're also going to add um, some essential oils which everybody makes fun of that word when I say it's important. <laughs> so I'm working on that. Um, and so if we increase our energy, like I need some more of that, and then uh, mental clarity and focus. Again, we talked about the fiber and clearer skin and detoxing. And reduce cravings. This is a good one. I have so many people. Oh, yeah, Michael's here. Michael, I almost forgot you were here. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So Michael's here. Come on up here. You're supposed to be helping me, aren't you, tonight? I think I'm good, yeah. So my, I brought Michael in, um, and you don't have to come. Michael, we're fine. You can come no, up later. I come up later. Um, so, yeah, I was like, can you help me for this dinner? And then I'm not even clear now. So, anyway, so Michael, we are going to be doing, did you bring some, we're going to bring doing some detox. Somebody's going to get a free detox tonight, right? That's correct. Yeah, he brought a free detox. So when someone's going to win a free detox, and why am I talking about detox, but... Um, because I just had a patient do a detox and they were telling me how their cravings have been reduced. So you can actually throw um, spirulina. Uh, you don't know what spirulina is? It's a good algae. Um, so there's things in chlorophyll. Have you heard of that? Some weird stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so you can throw that into your smoothie, and that's a really good thing to help you detox as well. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's chlorophyll right there. Oh, and also alkalizing. So water, the water that we have here, we're going to be using, we could actually throw some alkaline water so we can, if we need some, if, I don't know if we need any ice cubes or not, but we, Adora was going to get the tap water. I'm like, what are you doing? Get the alkaline water <laughs> um, to put in the ice cubes. I mean, we're going to use the best quality stuff here, and I promise we're going to be, we're going to be making smoothies really soon. Don't get me talking every day. So alkaline water. So alkaline water is going to be put in the smoothies, but when you do more greens, that's going to alkaline your body, which we know that cancer can't survive an alkaline. Yes? Five and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with not one, but two kinds of breast cancer. And in the end, they had to use four different kinds of chemo, and they couldn't understand 
why I was getting along like I was getting along. And, of course, the, the God was my first thing. But the other thing was about three or four months before I was diagnosed, I started drinking alkaline water. And I drank it through all of that. And here I am six years later. Awesome. Not bald anymore. Awesome. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Uh, Dr. Ben Johnson wrote a book called Healing Waters. Mm -hmm. And he puts all his cancer patients yeah, on alkaline yeah. water. That's one of the big keys. I think he talks about different things, and it's alkaline water, and then you know your fruits and vegetables you can't go wrong with. And it is really sad to see patients go through chemo and then be like, well, that didn't work after you lose your hair and feel like crap for months. And they're like, well, let's do a different chemo. Do you guys know now um, that they actually have a test to see if the cancer cells are going to be killed by certain chemos? So very important, if any of you guys have cancer or know someone that has cancer, that you can actually send your um, cancer cells to a lab and they can test it. But not only, there's actually one lab that I love, which I won't mention tonight, but there's one lab that actually, actually tests other things like CBD oil and turmeric and some different herbs, the graviola. So they'll check different herbs as well, and they also <laughs> check chemo, and you can actually see what works better. And I'm not going to tell you who wins, but you can have an idea who wins on those, which is kind of interesting. All right, so really the key, this is really the key. It is not hard. That's what I love about smoothies. Like, there's no really perfect ingredients, which we're going to give you some great, obviously great ingredients. Um, combinations but you know you just fill it up with water you put your greens in and you put your fruit in and then you add your fiber stuff so that's what I was talking about you had the chia seeds and then we just have some extra things we're gonna add some essential oils in there so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and start smoothing up some things Adora you gonna squeeze through here but yeah very very important to get it organic especially if you're doing this for your health you want to get the best nutrition that you can We knew there was gonna be a lot of people tonight, and they're like, "We can go ahead and blend and set some in the Sorry. back." And I said, "No, I like it fresh. Like you don't want to, because it's like, I think if you blend it and we like, if we did it all during lunch and did it, it would have been okay. But if you, the more you can get it right away, just like when you're juicing, does anybody juice? You don't want to have to juice and then like not drink it right away because the enzymes are being broken down right there. You want to drink it as soon as you do the." as soon as you knock it through the blender. So that's very important. So oranges are great, obviously, for vitamin C. This time of year, I don't know how many people I saw with sinus issues. Does anybody have any sinus allergy problems right now? Um, yeah, so vitamin C is really good for that. Um, also contains vitamin A, don't think about that, but skin and vision. So that's, that's we're gonna talk about some different things that are good. We got here blueberries. Love me some blueberries, very, very high in antioxidants. I love blueberries. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes they can be a little high in sugar, so you just kind of have to watch. Don't, don't eat the whole bag. Don't eat this whole thing of blueberries. <laughs> now, my girl, the, the pitcher core, when she was having blueberries on her face, she would. She would eat all these blueberries if we didn't watch her. Um, she loves some blueberries. And that's what I think, that's what I love doing this with kids. Also, you probably don't know this, but it helps um, constipation. Blueberries is really good for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, the next one is the green yeah. smoothie, and that one has the orange green. Oh, we're going to go with orange. Yeah. Cool. By the way, everything, of course, is soy, corn, dairy, gluten free, because that's how we live. The question was should you use water versus almond milk or coconut milk? Um, and typically, I go with more water. And then sometimes, like for my, I'll do like a dessert. I know I, we're not making this tonight, but I love doing coconut milk and like pineapple, um, and that's really good, like a good like sorbet kind of thing. So if I want it like really really rich, I'll do more because that's rich and it doesn't have it's just water. Well, I'm thinking about how you thirty day plan. 
has you drinking eight ounces of the water. The milk. I mean, the milk, right, right. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you can change it up with water. And then have, I like, sometimes I like to have my milk, I like milk, so I like to have my almond milk like by itself sometimes. It's like a treat for me. Oh, it's just pleasant. It's like a little cup. Yeah, All right, so I'm going to add citrus bliss, and basically what that means is we're adding some, we're, this is an essential oil that has wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, clementine, and a little bit of vanilla. kids do not like green stuff they're like I am not going to try that um, throw some blueberries in it and all of a sudden it's like purple now yeah. and they don't know so um, that's one way to sneak in greens but now my kids are used to whatever colors I give them but at the beginning they're like it's green, it's green. I ain't drinking that so what is the purpose of these central oils other than flavor? Good you should come to my October class. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so the mo because it is so essential oils are more powerful. Which I love herbs. Okay, I'm really big into herbs. But actually, essential oils are more powerful than herbs. And the fact that they just and what they represent, the antioxidants and all. I mean, I could go on and on about how wonderful they are. But what they can do on the cellular level is just jumpstart your cells. Um, and the fact that it just helps them to be healthy, especially depends on what essential oils you're using. We're going to be using another one um, called On Guard um, that has things to help kill viruses. And we're going to use, like, there's going to be clove in there and nutmeg and stuff like that that's going to kill viruses. But the one I just used was the orange. It's for the citrus. So it's like, it's like taking an orange, I guess I could describe it like this. It's like eating an orange, like maybe 20 oranges instead of just like one orange. I mean, that's how powerful just one drop can do to your, at your cell or at your cell level. Yeah, so bananas, you know, bananas can be good and they can be bad, right? Because you always hear, I think bananas like the perfect, it's the perfect food. It already has a package on it. Like I had one today for lunch, and I was just looking at it like it's already pre-packaged. It's so delicious. It has so many things in it, but it is high in sugar, you know. Um, so, but you know, someone I was having leg cramps. She came in today and was having leg cramps, and I told her if you don't have to. Now this is a really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. If you can't eat the banana because it raises your blood sugar too much, you can make banana water. I know, now I'm losing people. Really? So how do you make banana water? Um, basically, you take the banana and you boil water. So you, it actually tastes pretty. You take, you take water and you boil it. How did we come up with this? It was something crazy I came up with. Uh, well, it was something we had been told, and I don't know if you told us. Who told we us? We found it online. And then we researched it, and we actually yeah. used it, and that can be very helpful. So we take banana, you boil water, you throw the banana in there, and you boil the water, then you take the banana out, and then you're drinking the water. But you're getting the same somewhat of the benefit of the potassium, because that's really the potassium. Now, there's dry, a lot of dried fruits have high potassium. Apricots are really high in potassium. There's so many people that are low in potassium. Um, and so it's a great source to get. And it's great for stomach ulcers. But it's not good if you have SIBO. So it's very hard, you know, because a lot of people don't know what SIBO is. Um, but for people that have small intestinal bacteria or overgrowth, that can aggravate it. So there's certain foods that can aggravate it. Um, but bananas overall are pretty good for you in so many ways. And they're great for smoothies because then they kind of make it like come together really nice. So if you're, um, this is a tip for if you're diabetic and bananas are too high in sugar and you can't eat them because your A1C is above six, then I would have used an avocado, which we're going to use later. So avocado is a kind of a, another thing to use instead of a banana. Do you know 
that we're going to lose our bananas? Have y'all heard this? <laughs> There's a fungus that's growing on the banana that we eat, but it's so hilarious. People, I think, that are older than 80. Do we have anybody here older than 80? Basically, bananas, y'all used to have a different banana than we did, and it tastes a lot better. Do y'all remember that banana? <laughs> You remember the banana. So and they they said, I've never had that banana because a fungus ate that banana and it disappeared, right? And so that, that banana apparently was the best banana to eat. Well, we have the bananas that look like the other bananas, but they're not as good. But our generation, our, we got used to what, what a banana looks like. So in America, we got used to this is the way a banana looks like. And so we would buy, so now this banana is getting eaten by this fungus again. And eventually, we don't know how long it's going to be, but it's going to go bad, and we're going to have to go into another banana. And the people in Costa Rica and all these other, they're trying to figure out what we're going to like. And they're like, I can't believe they like these bananas. Like, they think the bananas we eat is disgusting. And then, yes, and the bananas that they have that are brown and nasty looking are the best. And I'm like, oh, what are those bananas? I think I would definitely eat a banana. But if we change the generation and say, you know, a banana does not look like a perfect yellow, and that is a problem. They're actually, um, there's something called Ugly Produce. I think it's uglyproduce.com. Have you all heard about this? And so it's produce that are very healthy and good for you and organic. So you can order like uglyproduceorganic.com, and that's the produce that would literally be thrown away in the trash because it doesn't look like a perfect apple. It might have a little bit of a side to it. And so they they created where you can get organically ugly produce for actually for a pretty good price. Um, so I was reviewing it. Right now, Rachel, it's not in our area, right? She's in the back. She's no. in the back. So right now it's not available like it's in the big cities, but I think <laughs> soon we should be able to get one that's available. Um, but I just thought that was so interesting. It's so much healthy, organic produce is getting dumped in the trash every day. Yes. So with children, we need something to fill them up. What can we add? Yes. So for children that are hungry, especially boys that are growing, a good thing to add is this avocado because it's rich in fat. So fat can fill you up, but it's that chia seeds and the fiber, so more chia seeds. Oh, yeah. I do oatmeal. You do oatmeal? Yeah. Yeah, just dry, dry oatmeal, and I'll shake about half a cup in my face. <coughs> kids have a texture. Yeah, sometimes, well, then I, I would blend the, the oatmeal up ahead of time, so it's softer. Yeah, like the coffee grinder, and then it's more like protein powder. Less likely to texture that funny. Cacao is a plant that they get chocolate from. It's not Hershey's, right? So we're, you know, I can't throw a Hershey's bar in there. That would not be probably part of the, the my smoothie class. So um, we put, I know I get my cacao. Do you have the bag so you can show it? It's got all put the back, back over there. <laughs> I get it from Sun, Sun Foods. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Sun Foods, but I can get a really big bag of cacao for the best price. That's what I'm looking at right now. Oh yeah. And so it's straight cacao, certified organic raw cacao, and it's delicious, and there's no sugar. But listen to this. There is a lot of potassium and magnesium. Like, if you look at the magnesium and copper, hey, copper, Cacao has 53% of your copper intake with two tablespoons. Wow. So a lot of people are low in copper, so you don't think about cacao, right? It's so good. Oh, and manganese, too. Manganese is really high. <laughs> so I love my cacao. And actually, I had peanut butter for lunch. I did. You already heard I had a banana. Um, and then for lunch, I had this, which is peanut. It's just ground peanuts. 
And then what I did was I mixed this with some water with this and dipped an apple in it. And it was like, oh my gosh. You feel like I'm really cheating. Huh? Can you use that like Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can use it like cocoa, but this is cacao. This is so much better. This is straight from the cacao plant. snack and very oh yeah very good right um, but they're high in iron I don't know a lot of people don't realize that they're high in iron so I thought about putting that up because um, I'm very low in iron all the time and so for people that go low in iron more anemic um, those type of symptoms so iron can help with your dates um, and sulfur which can help at seasonal allergies allergy issues but they are high in sugar you know, they are, so we're not going to throw like 20 dates in there, but we can throw one or two in there. All right, so we're doing the pumpkin pie, which I say this, guys, to the last one. Not that it would be the best, but I just thought it was, it's, 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 yeah, it's the time of year, and um, we're throwing carrots in it. So you want to think about carrot So this is the organic, organic pumpkin, just for you, Steve. Um, so we got that in organic cinnamon. Now, I could not find organic nutmeg, but I got a fresh nutmeg. Is that good enough? I could not find an organic nutmeg. I usually don't have any. Okay. But it's organic cinnamon. I love me some organic cinnamon. Now, that's easy to find these days, organic cinnamon. But nutmeg is a little tougher to find. My husband could. Uh, but the carrots, you know, we bought the big old bag of carrots at Costco. And who, I mean, carrots are so good for you. We hadn't even gone through. We went through strawberries. Good for memory. Yes. Yes. I like the big carrots. I like, in fact, if I can get the carrot greens, I even love you more. So I love carrot greens, like the greens of the carrot. They're just hard to find the whole carrot. But I get, um, did you, did you shred that? Did you shred that? I just, no, I used to write straight up Yeah, we use a straight up carrot. I like all that, those little hairs and all that. That's so good. Big yeah, carrot pieces. Yeah, we just throw that all in there. Um, I actually have a smoothie recipe with a beet, and I just throw the whole beet and, like, the whole thing in there. It's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, this one we're going to do on guard. And, y'all, this is, this is a lifesaver because if you're having a sore throat, or swollen tonsils or anything like that. I travel, when I travel, I always bring my own guard and I always bring my naso, how do you say it, Michael, naso? Nature next. Nature next. Nature next. I always say naso for some reason. <laughs> Nature next. Um, that goes, it's a kid formula, but it always goes with me every time I travel. It's got the elderberries and echinacea in it and the thyme and it's fantastic. So what this has in it is it has um, the wild orange and the clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, you know how much I love eucalyptus, and rosemary. Your phone battery says it's low over here. Oh, okay. Bye, Facebook Live. Uh, six drops of that. Six drops. Could y'all tell that the other one had essential oils in it? Yeah, you can taste it more. It's pretty strong. You don't really need that. I mean, for six, probably two shots. <laughs> the Trader Joe's organic pumpkin. I didn't get organic. We're Steve. I didn't get my organic pumpkin and dig it out this morning. <laughs> you know, I can only do so much. So, um, Kel, 
we just now moved from fruits to vegetables. Um, so kale has a lot of fiber, and then also, of course, you know, think about it is um, for memory, Alzheimer's. Um, some really neat research with Alzheimer's with um, with our neurofeedback with lights. Um, but also, you know, Alzheimer's is a very sad, very sad. If you know anybody that has it or has a family member, it's like one of the, I mean, there's a lot of bad diseases out there, but that is just a so sad disease. And so for you doing things now it can actually help your brain. You know, we talk about the gut and healing the gut. There's a huge relation between the gut and the brain. So the more that we can pay attention on healing our gut and giving ourselves nutrition, it's going to help protect our brain. Um, and it helps with liver detox. I mean, you can't go wrong with fruits and vegetables. Again, spinach is the same thing. You know, I, I keep a bag of spinach and I keep a bag of kale. I just kind of go back and forth with them. I don't, like I said, it's not good to change, eat the same thing every day. So I just kind of change it up. Um, and then, you know, like I talked about other greens. Did we have celery in one? We did. The celery was in the uh, pear and strawberry spoon. Interesting. So if you couldn't taste it, that's a way to hide it from a kid. Yeah. 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 That's true. And, car and carrots, too. Which we, that's this last one that we're passing around has carrots in it. Can you taste the carrots? Yeah. Oh, you don't have it yet. <laughs> oh. And then pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Who loves this time of year? I mean, I always just love pumpkins. You know, it's just fun. But yeah, pumpkin's another one that helps you feel full. So adding some pumpkin to that. Do your kids like pumpkin pie? Or pumpkin? Oh, yeah. Pumpkin pie. And ice. So and we added a lot of flaxseed. A lot of these had flaxseed or chia seeds in those, and that's a very good feeling agent as well. Sorry, we were. We well, we ground flaxseeds. Well, chia seeds they were whole. Chia seeds were whole, and then they just become ground as we do it. Um, I have some great um, recipes. And chia seeds a great way to instead of using eggs. Chia seeds a great way to use um, instead of eggs. It can be a replacement. So my brother and sister and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, because they're both married, um, they're all vegans, which means they don't eat any meat and no eggs and no one of that. And so they use a lot of chia seeds and flax seeds. And chia seeds can make, you know, you still can do a lot of things. It's hard to make cakes, though. I did make a vegan cake, and it was <laughs> a <little too> <laughs> um, But it still came out tasting good. It turned out okay. I brought it to the party. It, it got gone. I used the cacao for that. It got gone. You know, you, you throw it. cacao in any, you throw cacao in anything, and it gets gone. Um, and peanut, peanut butter. We talked about cinnamon. This last one has this cinnamon in it. It has the essential oil, and then we added some extra cinnamon. And cinnamon is great for Alzheimer's as well, good for arthritis pain, but really known for diabetes. So you, we, I love using cinnamon and cinnamon bark, and I actually do use that every day. I love my cinnamon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It does help with menstrual. Some of these things I put on here and then I forget about them. But infertility and menstrual cramping can be good. Uh, and we got some nut bag. Again, very good for feeling down. Um, I wonder if just the smell of cinnamon and nutmeg, if you had a really good childhood or Christmas time, and that there's, you know, if, you, if it goes to that memory part of your cells and it helps you with your brain. Um, there's actually nerves in your brain with really, the memory area of your brain is really close to your smell area. So when you smell cinnamon nutmeg, and if you have good childhood memories, which I hope all of us have good childhood Christmas, that helps your brain, you know, which is really cool. So we talked about this with the home guard and the central bliss and all that. Yeah, so here was the, here was the, here was the, Recipes that you guys are gonna get, okay? All that yummy. Who was who was the favorite? Who liked? Who has one that they liked the best? I know they're all pretty good. Which one did you like best? I liked the one with the avocado and the. Um, yeah, it was. Was it green? Yeah, green. The green. The green. That'd be pear and strawberry. Did you have an orange in that one too? I have just. Uh, the orange was in one of the other greens. You guys are going to get so confused. Like, I don't remember what's what I like. 
you really can't get wrong, you know. Yeah, so, but you can just, um, you know, some people are not like Marie. She doesn't like bananas, so we have to throw something else in there. <laughs> I know. So she take the place of bananas. You know, so you, you just have to find other things to work yeah. around that. So, all right, yeah, so we do have a special offer. We didn't have any protein powders. People ask me, should I throw a protein powder in there? That's really up to you. In fact, I just got a text. Um, not that I'm um, encouraging all you guys to text me. I just really, really messed myself up here. All right, so yeah, I got a text earlier um, with a patient, and she's doing a lot of smoothies, and she's doing smoothies and juicing right now because she's going through an illness. Um, and she asked, I want to add some protein. I said, well, if you're going to do protein powder, I recommend doing plant-based protein and not dairy or soy um, because we've had a lot of issues with that. So you want to do more of a plant-based protein, which there is some out there, some pea and stuff like that. Okay, so the reason I have Michael here is what saved me, and I don't even have this product up here, was DHIS. And DHIS is called Natural DHIS. And you know me, I suffer with a lot of allergies. A lot of you guys have heard my story. I've written a couple books. But my learning how to breathe, I mentioned the DHIS that saved me with the allergies. And now, believe it or not, I don't really need it anymore, which is great. But I needed it during those really, really bad months with my allergies. And so here I am buying DHIS, and that's the only product that I would buy basically for myself. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if you found me, or maybe I just called the company. I'm just like my personal DHIS stuff. <laughs> and um, and then I was like, this probably be good for other patients. And then um, I was like, wow, Ortho Molecular is like a really cool company. And not only do they provide this DHIS, they provide other cool products that I fell in love with. So Michael was like kind of the sales rep, but you know a lot. You're not just a sales rep. I mean, he knows a lot about nutrition. He travels all over the world and learns about nutrition. And so when he came and he's like, we don't just sell natural DHIS, there's other things. And so, and then I learned about their detox product and I was like, oh my goodness, I love your detox product. Um, because I detox and the first detox <laughs> I did was, I'm laughing and looking at my Aunt Nancy, uh, was 14 years ago after I had my son and I went into detox. Of course, you can't detox when you're pregnant. So my first detox, I call my uncle, Amazon John. I'm like, how would you do a detox? And he's like, he's like, well, first of all, you're not going to eat. You're going to do herbal teas, and you're going to do enemas every night, and you're going to do all this fiber. And I was like, oh, this sounds like fantastic. So I raised my hand. I'm like, sure. I mean, he's the one that kind of saved me through and led me to where I'm at. So whatever he says, I really feel like it's treasure and gold, and I would take it. I'm like, I'm going to do this thing. Oh, my gosh, I came for 10 days. So um, it was a very hard detox, but it was my first detox. So when I opened up my practice and expecting my patient to do this detox, they thought I was crazy. So I was like, oh, i got to find other detoxes that are a little bit easier where you can eat a little bit. So his detox um, is, is really easy. It just, well, anything's easy compared to when you did what Amazon John told you to do. Um, but it's two days where you don't have to eat, and I believe me, you will survive. You will survive. You, you will. don't eat, you just, yeah, but you will do a shake and it's full of nutrients. And actually, I feel better when I actually don't eat that much or not. I feel better when I fast and allow my body to rest and digest, right? And so the first two days really is a great detox. And you can add in, I mean, some of the recipes that you learned tonight, just throw a scoop or two of the detox powder in there and yeah, yeah, and it tastes fantastic. It tastes, great. It tastes really good. So you pick a day on the calendar, and you're like, because there's never a good time. There's never a good time to detox, because everybody's like, oh, I got a wedding this weekend. Oh, my birthday's next week. You know, someone's getting, you know, it's just all these excuses. And I'll sit down with the patient. I'll be like, okay, how many excuses are you going to give me not to detox? Like, this is only a week. Give me a week. You have, I'm drawing this week. Hey, I've traveled in detox. I don't want to hear it. When you have your mindset to do anything, you can go through and do a detox. You can go to a wedding. And I went to Kim's wedding. I went to my cousin's wedding, and I was on a detox and didn't need anything. I was, I was doing John's detox. So you can do it. You can do it. So it's all about mindset. So detox normally are 750 so you won like a $100 product? Yes! Um, so we're, we're knocking it down to 97 And really what's cool is a lot of people like the support. And so if you haven't had the support and you've never done a detox, I was just with someone, she's 18, I believe, that came in earlier today. She's day two of her detox. Like, oh, my God. 
going on there, Weaver? No, she's 18, so I understand, you know? So I'm like, hang in there, you get to eat tomorrow. So she's back there resting after an adjustment. She's like, I smell roast beef. <laughs> and, um, and I'm like, you get to eat tomorrow, it's gonna be okay. So the 18 year old, that's really sick and really her health has gone really down. And I've seen so many people um, in my office where their health is so, they're desperate. If, they, if a detox is going to get them better, then they will go through it. And I know, and I'm in the back and they're praying with her, it's going to be okay. We're on day two. We can make this thing, you know, we'll make it happen. So she left like, yes, I can do this. Um, so you, some people, what I'm saying is some people need a little extra support. And what I mean by support is we actually have a Facebook. Who did it with us in January? We had a pretty big class. And that was your first detox. Did you survive? I survived. Did it help you? It did. I remember you saying how much it helped you, and that was your Some first of the detox. Recipes you still use. Some of the recipes you still use from the detox. So uh, the four-week support. What all is that? What all do we do? I know we do a lot in that for an extra thirty bucks or something. You get Facebook support, email support. Get to bug a door in me every once in a while. Like help me, I can't make it through, and I'm like just encouragement to get you through. But you get more recipes past the seven day so we give you more support so if you need you're like i can handle detox Dr. Weaver, i got this i'm all there you go but you're like i never detoxed before i might need some help now's the time so there's a now we also have in this have y'all heard about the awesome sick kids healthy herbal solutions that ann did okay so this is fairly new she worked on this what like a year oh at least six well, it's, yeah, it's the last two years. <laughs> okay, the last two years. Y'all, we're only charging like $37 if you just want that program. Uh, but if you're in the Wellness U program, let us know. We'll send you the information for it. But she sat down for the last two years in giving solutions to help sick kids. So that was what I wrote my second book on was the No More Meds and kind of helping moms to get away from depending on anti uh, anti a bunch of stuff but um, antibiotics and all kinds of things that they were giving their kids and when I just saw a mom this week and she's like this is all like Chinese like I'm speaking Chinese to some of these people but they you know they're used to going and having an ear infection or having a something happen and they go and get their antibiotics and then they go and get their antibiotics and then they go and get their antibiotics and by the time they see me they usually have been on four or five or six different antibiotics and now they're having this issue and now they're having this issue and they're having this issue so in this program it is tons of information on how you can be a super parent is what we call it super parent uh, and teach you how I have been able to raise my three kids with no medication. They've had not, not one medication their whole entire life. How I've been able to do that, there's secret little things that I teach and want people to know so they can live a healthier lifestyle. Now, if you don't, or you're not interested in kids, you're like, I don't have any kids, I don't want it. But we also have an autoimmune, what I call an autoimmune paleo or gluten-free Mediterranean that we support you with more menus and stuff like that. So that's kind of included in the support. So, so I think that's all I have. Cheers. No one ever. So these are, this is my mom collected. Um, I didn't really tell my mom's story because I usually cry all the time when I tell it that um, she, um, made, kind of the main reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now, y'all know my story being really sick, my mom died of glioblastoma stage five brain cancer. So as soon as I finished chiropractic school with learning everything I knew to help people, I moved back here and my mom gets the diagnosis within a few months later. Um, and was only given three months to live when they found that she had the tumor. Um, we still lost her, but she lived three years instead of three months. And I believe it's all because of what me and Uncle John were able to do for her and the whole family supporting her because they gave her really no hope of anything. And so, and she stayed smiling and positive and just the most inspiring woman ever. And I got my Aunt Nancy here crying. Um, but she collected green glass. And so I like to do my smoothies in her green glass, which I didn't bring in here. Not that I think you would break any, but they're kind of special. Um, and then there's my girls right there. So thank you guys so much for coming. Is there anything else that I didn't address that you would like to ask? Yes. If one of your goals is to lose weight with the smoothies, 
you, do you recommend using that as a meal replacement? Yeah, oh, yes. Definitely, yes. Um, and sometimes smoothies, you know, if you're trying it to lose weight, it's a different kind of, you want to make sure that you want to watch the calorie kind of intake, but it's all about adding more protein and more fat. And you think, what? Adding more fat to lose weight? Fat doesn't make you fat, especially the healthy fat. You need fat to lose fat. And it's kind of a silly concept, but it's totally true. And so the healthier fat that you can get, like the avocados that we put in there, can help you lose fat. But if you're having trouble losing weight and you're doing smoothies, it could be something else. It could be thyroid. It could be a lot of other things. Um, but mostly why people have problems with weight is for inflammation. So I was 60 pounds. Nancy knows I was 60 pounds bigger than I was now just five years ago. Um, and how I was able to lose the weight was cutting dairy and gluten. I mean, you cut those two things, you'll drop some weight pretty fast. I dropped gluten and dairy and 20, 20 pounds, gone in a month, just cutting those two things. And then I was like, oh, this is, I did it really for myself because I, w I hired a personal trainer and was working my butt off. So I'd see 100 patients a day, then I'd run, you remember, oh, where's Marie? Then I would run to the gym and work out for an hour. And then I was on a really strict diet where I didn't eat anything. And I gained two pounds, like in six months. And I was like, that didn't work. So um, scrap all that. And then I found out I had Hashimoto's. So this is when my mom was really, really sick. I was under a lot of stress. I was trying to <coughs> cover up all my problems, like we, as women and men do. Mm -hmm. um, and then I found out I had Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune attack on my thyroid. So no matter what I did, it was attacking my thyroid. I needed to get that under control. And one thing, I met with uh, a wellness coach and a great nutritionist, and she mentioned the gluten and dairy. I uh, already was eliminating dairy because it bothered my science, sinuses, but I never heard about gluten. This is five years ago. Um, and so when I eliminated gluten, I couldn't believe how much better I felt my digestion and my weight just dropped off, just eliminating those two things. And then obviously learn. And then, and then my patients would see me and be like, what weight loss program are you on? You know, because I was dropping weight. And I was like, it wasn't any weight loss program. It was really focusing on good, healthy nutrition, getting rid of the foods that I was sensitive to and building up my immune system and not attack my thyroid. I know it sounds like a lot, but I had to do all that and learn it. And then I went to three more years of school, and then I like to train other people to know how to do that because it is possible. Are you on Synthroid? No. You're just <coughs> not that no, it's good. Yeah. I caught it early. My antibodies were not that high, and the TSH was like four. It was, it was, it was high, but it wasn't like 10. I don't know if you know what TSH means. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We might have to have another class for that. Okay, all right, well, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it.